important to be timely, plan ahead, get the word out. This is the biggest thing you always hear is you gotta have better communication. What does that mean? What does better communication mean? Does it mean talking one-on-one? -on -one? Does it mean getting emails out? Well, there are times when sending emails out, you have MRSA in your building, get it out. Let the parents know. <coughs> Go through your PR person, or if, it's, if the PR person is you, get that information out. There's things you just can't wait on. If you have that kind of stuff, and you're, let's say in your weight room, you have a couple cases of MRSA with all the kids coming back in August, or something like that, get that information out, because that'll get you. That'll get you in the end a lot of headaches because you weren't open and, and honest and, and transparent. So we try to, I try to get that out. Things that always make it look like you're not very good at communicating are um, when officials don't show up, they automatically think it's your fault. You know, instead of getting defensive about that, just have a plan to have those checked. A lot of times on the scheduling programs, they'll automatically send a reminder to the official and also to you. If you don't have one of those programs, they're pretty inexpensive, you can look into it. Those are things that sort of keep you out of communication problems. The thing I find most is rule changes um, with your coaches, making sure when the state associations tell you about different rules that they haven't been up to date on, get that out. Or if you're gonna uh, change something at the school, our, our school's busy all the time with the community, we have stuff at night. So if I change a game time or we have something come up, getting that information out is really important to get it out ahead of time. <coughs> And then the most important, I think, communication you do is build relationships with your staff. I uh, feel like you can do that through emails, but also by stopping in on them in practice. And don't stop, I don't, every time I go to practice, I don't take an electronic device with me and evaluate them. I just stop in and see how things are going. I think it's important to have those, you know, they're under a lot of pressure. You know, one thing about winning is if, if the other program's winning and you're not, that coach feels pressure. They feel pressure to, to win. We uh, placed the top four in all six sports this fall, except one. And I guarantee you that coach feels a lot of pressure to keep up with the other coaches. They, if you're, I'm lucky to be in a place where our coaches are motivated, but I also want to relieve some of that stress. So I want to do a good job of communicating with them and let them know they're doing a, they're doing a great job, and if I can help them, I will. Um, that might be emails face-to-face. Uh, -face. The one thing I think you need to make sure you're consistent about in the future if you don't do it already, good times and bad times, be professional with them when you talk to them. Especially if it's about an issue, you're telling them great job, great evaluation, and then they have to come in because they've done something wrong, and then you have a sit down, you're wearing your suit and tie that day, and they walk in, and they feel like they're being maybe judged or attacked. Be careful with that. Be professional all the time. Try to, be, try to really give them, when they're doing a great job, do the same thing. Call them in for their, for their uh, year-end evaluation and treat it. Uh, I know you want to be friends with them. They're, they're some of my best friends too, but I don't do it. My wife and I don't do a lot socially with our coaching staff. I'm just at a school where um, I try to try to keep that at school. Uh, when I was at a little smaller school, it was hard not to be doing stuff because they're the only people we actually knew um, in town. And I was the AD at my hometown for a long time, so that was a little bit of a, you know, because if you do have a situation come up, then, then your friendship, hopefully you're building friendships with them, but it's on a professional level as well.